principi che sorgono e che nascono e i principi che declinano, la vittoria è per noi, per i primi. Today, it is easy to laugh at Benito Mussolini, the fascist dictator of Italy. All that posturing seems faintly ridiculous now, but it didn't seem that way in 1922. Back then, Italy had seemed to be on the edge of anarchy. The country was riven by strikes and land seizures. The democratic government, just as in Germany, seemed powerless in the face of such unrest. So Benito Mussolini, a war veteran and a journalist, decided to take a stand. He organized a right-wing nationalist party, the fascists. With the country paralyzed by a general strike in August 1922, Mussolini ordered his followers to march on Rome. Fearing a civil war, Italy's king, Victor Emmanuel, asked him to form a government. Si realizzassero le premesse necessarie e sufficienti per una collaborazione delle quattro grandi potenze occidentali. Mussolini swiftly stamped out any political opposition and assumed dictatorial powers. Like Hitler, Mussolini's first acts made him immensely popular. Massive programs of public works provided employment and transformed Italy's infrastructure. Corruption was rooted out and the Mafia more or less eliminated. Italy's armed forces were built up, including an advanced modern air force. In the Mediterranean, Mussolini launched a powerful navy, bigger than the combined might of the British and French Mediterranean fleets. When the Great Depression came, Italy seemed to weather it better than most. Mussolini became a source of worldwide inspiration. Political leaders, not least Adolf Hitler in Germany, saw the fascist system as a role model, strong and purposeful, in contrast to the weakness of the democracies in Britain and France. But Mussolini wanted more than adulation. He wanted to recreate the Roman Empire. And he already had a target in mind for his first imperial land grant. 